was the last time you reacted to the attack of the enemy? When was the last time you rebelled against evil? When was the last time you said, Headache, if I be a man of God, leave me. Poverty, if I be a man of God, out and prosperity in. If I be a man of God, that's what I'm here for tonight. To get the men and women of God who want to do miracles in the name of God. Jesus hasn't changed. Jimmy Swaggart may make mistake. Jim Baker may make mistake. Anybody can make mistakes. Jesus has not made mistakes. He's alive. He's alive. Three years ago, Pastor Him, all the witches in the world met in Chicago to hold their first conference in Africa. You know where they want to hold it? My city. <laughs> My city. And their chief host granted the network interview and said the first universal conference of witches and wizards is going to hold in Benin. And I said, what? Where? They said, where I live. So I said, it's not true. Everybody says, it's not true. I didn't hear you. One more time. And the press said, what is not true? I said, they can't come. They said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to kill all of them. <laughs> and they called the chief host and said, Dr. Inahosa said, you can't hold the meeting. He said, not even God can stop it. I will bring you the newspaper. He said, not even God can stop it. And the press said, listen to what this man said. He said, not even God. I said, he's correct. They said, he's correct. I said, yes. They said, why? I said, because God shouldn't waste his time. I'm here. Everybody shout hallelujah. I said, God, do your business. Leave this one to me. I can handle this. And I said, How many are they? I said, Nine. 1,800. So I said, good. <laughs> Everybody said, good. good. I love challenges. <laughs> because challenges are scaffolding to higher heights in faith. There's time for people to find out whom you are in Orlando. It's time for people to know that God put you here in Orlando. If they cannot tell by your clapping, by your dancing, they can tell by your fire. Did you hear me? Yeah. If they don't know whom you are, because you sing in the choir, because you pay your tithe, they can know whom you are when you raise the dead. Everybody say, fire, come down. Fire, come down. Say, fire, come down. And the media men came to my house. They said, Dr. Idahosa, you are taking a risk. I said, what? They said, be careful. I 
said, people who take care don't take charge. And people who take charge don't take care. For my Bible said, be careful for nothing. For by prayers and supplication, make your request known to God. And they said, are you ready to face the camera to tell the whole nation what you are saying? And which I called this man, as he called two of us. And they brought him to the studio, and they brought me to the studio. And the anchor man said, gentlemen, I don't want anyone to die among you. <laughs> Chief host, are you really sure? You are bringing 9,800 witches from all over the world. He said, yes. Dr. Idahusa, are you sure you are going to stop the meeting? I said, I'm not going to stop it. I've stopped it. I have stopped it. He said, are you ready? We want to grant you one hour to tell us how strong your God is. And you tell us how your witchcraft is. He said, I'm ready. And I said, fine. But at the end of this program, you let me pray because I'm going to kill him. <laughs> and they brought us to the camera. And they asked him. <laughs> I said, they asked him. <laughs> How strong witches are. And he told us. For 27 minutes. He quoted from the Old Testament. From 6 or 7 book of Moses. From Egyptian books. From Israeli book. From British book. From magical book. And they said to me. Did you hear him? I said yes. They said what do you say? I said I have nothing to say. The meeting is cancelled. They said, what? And I opened my Bible. No divination spoil. No incantation spoil. She has stand the presence of the righteous. And I began to quote from Leviticus to the New Testament. And at the end, I said, how many minutes more? He said, five. I said, it's time for me to kill this man. I said, sir, just answer me one word, and I kill you. And everybody began to panic. <laughs> I said, say yes or no. Are you a witch? He said, no. I said, get up. <laughs> if you say yes, I kill you. But if you are not. And he said, I'm not. Stood up in the studio, network news, Tobomo Hikoro Lobomo Jabalabad and those And I said, If you had accepted your will, I kill you. The next morning he came to my office to collect a Bible. And they still met him. The media left us and they still went to his house. With the meeting hall, yes. Seven days more. Three days more with the meeting hall, yes. And they came to me. Are you sure the meeting is cancelled? I said, no comment. If the meeting hall, I set fire in my Bible. It's cancelled. What I bind on earth is bound in heaven. <laughs> and they said, what is your power? I said, my power is in the Bible. Whatsoever you lose on earth is lose in heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth is born in heaven. And they said, but two days more. I said, don't waste your time. The next morning, I went to the president's office. And I said, I've told the whole nation, and you are aware, that there's no meeting of the witches and wizards. He said, the day you were on TV, I sent telex to all the embassies in the world not to allow one wizard 
to come to Nigeria. Today, today, the constitution of Nigeria is the only constitution I know in the whole world where it is written, no man should practice witchcraft. Because of what I said, they put it in the constitution. You cannot practice witchcraft in Nigeria. What you bind on earth can be bound in heaven. If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven.